Hello there, everyone. Rebecca here with you for Back When Market, also known as Mama's Treasures. I'm here in the back room of the store, and I'm going to be doing a salt and pepper shaker sale with claims in the comments. Each salt and pepper shaker set is going to be $10 Canadian, and the way that you claim an item is by commenting in the video with the item number. So each item I show you is going to have an item number uh, with it. And every item, the salt and pepper shakers are going to be priced at $10 Canadian. So if you have um, purchased with us before, you do not need to resend your information. But if you are a new buyer, uh, please email the email in the description or on the screen right now with what your YouTube handle is with how um, I see it in the comments and I need your full mailing address and your full complete name. I also need your PayPal information because that is how I invoice and uh, that is how you will pay for your invoice. Um, so I'm just going to get started here. So I picked 20 salt and pepper shakers. If you've been with us for any length of time, you know that Jason and I have purchased quite a few collections of salt and pepper shakers. And we have continued to do so even in our hiatus from YouTube. And uh, each set tonight is going to be $10 Canadian. So um, I'm going to start with this little set here. It is the sailor couple um salty and peppy so there's a pink one and a blue one they are wooden they are in great shape you can see there is some discoloration to their paint but they are in pretty good condition uh, i will give them a measure here just to give you an indication of the height they are four inches and their claim number is number 60. Next up, I've got these sweet little bears. They look very surprised for some reason. Um, I thought maybe they were huggers, but they, they don't seem to fit together as huggers. They just look like some very surprised bears. Uh, they do have their cork stoppers. They are made of ceramic. They're in great condition. There's no cracks or chips or repairs to them. And the height on these are just over four inches. Super sweet. Their little faces. And their claim number is 95. These are some sweet little um, deer, little fawns on some tree stumps. They are bone china, as you can see there. Bone china, Japan. Sweet little spotted deer, salt and peppers. They do have their plastic stoppers and they are marked Japan. Just super, super sweet. They are really little. Um, they're not even two inches tall. They're an inch and a half tall. So sweet. And their claim number is 27. And then I have these here. Um, I think this is abalone, if I'm not mistaken. They have quite a bit of heft to them. They feel quite heavy. And this is what they look like from the top. They are marked um, koa. Um, but if you didn't want that, you have three other sides to display them at. Uh, they're great. They're in great shape and they are about two and mm, almost two and three quarter inches tall. These are going to be claim number 19. And like I said, all of the sets are $10 Canadian. And shipping is on top of 
the price of the shakers, in case I didn't mention that. Then I've got these ceramic uh, light bulb salt and pepper shakers. So the gold on the S&P is really, really nice yet. They're both marked Japan with their plastic stoppers. This portion is metal, um, but this is ceramic. So they are in great shape and they measure four inches tall and they are going to be claim number 34. These are, I think these are, um, oh, I'm not sure what they are. I thought maybe they were a little bow peep, but I don't know if they are. I think they're just a really sweet little girl um, wearing a large bonnet. And I think she's got an umbrella here. Um, and they are marked Japan. There is her bonnet so there is some paint loss on the bonnet but they still look really really nice and a measure on them are three inches and they are claim number three then I've got these little sweetie pies these are also twins they have umbrellas wearing bonnets um, what kind of animal is this? I'm going to go with fox. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with fox. They've got cork stoppers. They are in great condition. If they do have any condition issues, I will. Oh, you know what? There it is. Um, they do. This one does have a chip to the ear. If you can see that, I will, um, be as uh, mindful as I can to disclose any faults to them. They're just shy of three inches and they are going to be claim number five. Then we've got this sweet little donkey. He is a flocked plastic flocked donkey. He's got a little jingly bell on around his neck and these are the salt and pepper shakers um, they come out of the little side saddles and there is the other one um, he's got a pink tail and he does have his sticker although I cannot read what the sticker is anymore his eyes are good. He's got a pink mane as well. And he's t he's turquoise. Um, a height on him, four inches. And he is going to be claim number 18. All right, next up, I've got these yellow birds. Very, very pretty. Um, this one has some flowers on the base and this one is standing on like a log. They got their cork stoppers. This is where the salt and pepper comes out of the bottoms of their necks. They're really, really nice. Um, I don't feel or see any damage to them. They're very pretty. I think maybe they would go like this. Very, very pretty and a height would be about, I'm gonna go with three and a half inches. And they are going to be claim number 94. These are so fun. Uh, these bathing beauties are made by clay art. There's the sticker on the bottom. They do both have their stoppers, so you've got Man and woman having a soak in the tub. It looks like they're just singing their hearts out. And she's scrubbing her back. And it looks like he is washing his armpits. 
<laughs> they are just super fun. No damage to them. Um, so these are probably wider than they are tall. They are about two and a quarter inches high and about three inches wide. Claim number on them is number 58. Then we've got these flamingos. So there is both sides of them, the backs. Um, this one feels a little bit rough, but I don't know that it's damaged. I think maybe a little bit of a paint chip there on the tail. Um, their noses. I think their noses are good. They've got the cork stoppers. And they are about three and a half inches tall. Claim number on those is number 45. This set is super fun. The smiley face and the base. So keep smiling on one side and have a nice day on the opposite side. And it nests into there. So cute. Both of their stoppers. And um, this one together measures four inches tall. Great condition. And um, claim number 62, again, all the salt and pepper shakers in today's sale are $10 each. So you don't come across koalas very often, but here we have some koala salt and pepper shakers. Um, they seem to be in great condition. I'll just check them over again. Um, so they are in different poses. They would make great figurines just sitting on a shelf, but they are salt and pepper shakers. And their height is about two and a half inches. Very nice and shiny still. And they are claim number 23. These are super fun. These are owls, but they are, they're made to look like they're, they're um, knitted together, like sweater owls, I guess. Uh, one of them is missing its stopper. Um, their cold paint is in really exceptional condition, the red on there, and a little bit of a paint rub on the the one ear, but they seem to be in great condition. Otherwise, they're quite tall, a little over four inches, and they are going to be claim number 15. Then we've got these Ma and Pa jugs. The corks on these are in the cork of the jug, but they have holes on other portions of the jug. So this is Ma and it says, I'm full of pee and Pa, I'm full of um, S, he's S. So that's a super fun set. It is uh, stamped Japan. And they are claim number 26. I've never come across a dinosaur salt and pepper shakers before, but here we have a set. And it looks like they were gifted. Oh, I can't make that out. June 30th. 1988, I want to say. <laughs> they're made in Taiwan. They're just dinosaurs with, um, they're, they're very dapper dinosaurs. They've got bow ties on and they measure 
three, three and a quarter inches about. Very sweet. Claim number 17 on those. Now these, speaking of dapper, this is a dapper pair of penguins. They like um, nest into each other like that. He's got his arm around the other guy. And look, they even have like pocket watches. They're so fun. Um, they've got their corks and they're really shiny and nice still. They're just really, really fun. So yeah, so this guy, they stand kind of like leaning into each other like that. Really fun. There's the backs of them. And they measure about four and a half inches. They're so shiny and glossy. They, they really feel nice um, when you're holding them. So yeah, they're super fun. And they are claim number 42. I've got three more sets to go. So super quick claim in the comments sale today. Um, so these guys, there is, it looks like somebody tried to um, paint it with some yellow, but there is a chip there on the base. So it's probably an old chip. And I don't know if these are beets or tomatoes or what they might be. They've got their cork stoppers. And so anthropomorphic, super, super cute. They are about two inches and about two and a quarter inches wide. These cuties are claim number 31. Next set are these sweet little lambs. And I know that one of them does have a chip as well. I think it's that ear right there. I think that is a chip on the ear there, but I think that is the only issue with them. They're really textured nicely. They're so sweet. Measurements are, the tall guy is about three inches and they are claim number 20. And my last set for today's sale is these little Meissen, Meissen mice on telephones. Really, really fun. They do have their stoppers marked Japan and their paint is really quite nice. Um, there is a little bit of rubbing on the ear, but no cracks or repairs to them. And they're a really good size. Um, Let's see here, almost four inches tall. And the claim number on the mice is number 76. So that's it for today's claim in the comments sale. Um, please be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any upcoming sales um, or happenings on our channel. And um, if you have any questions, you can email me or leave them in the comments. I will be, uh, sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, everybody, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.